Hello, welcome to Topper Machine. Today's job, we're gonna finish up the extension carriage for the sawmill, and we're gonna machine out a drive coupling that you can time for the two drive shafts for the two carriages. So we'll start here in the old Monarch, and we'll probably do it all in the Monarch and then in the Bridgeport. So we're starting with this four inch round, and we're just gonna do the one end first, and then true it up, flip it around, true it up, drill it, bore it, and flip it around, and then finish the machining. We got two pieces to make. That squeal at the end had me a little concerned here. My insert is just fine. So whatever this material is, this is a mystery metal I had laying around. I don't know what it is. It's just the way that's gonna cut. So, but this will be fine for this project. I'm not holding on to this part by much, so I'm only taking a hundred thousandths at a time. And this is the last pass, taking it down to two inches. going to take enough to face this off so it's nice and flat. And a nice chamfer on that end. All right, this end is done. I'm going to switch out, get the other one turned out, and then we'll do the work on the other end. All right, so we got them both turned down to the two inch that I wanted. We're going to just do the work on this end now. I'm going to leave it a little out of the chuck so that I can finish everything off. Right there. And we're gonna turn it to three and three quarter outside diameter start with. So now that I've faced it off a little ways, I'm going to knock my burr off the back side so I can measure the thickness so I can cut it down to my finished, finished thickness. There we go. And I'm going down to 3 eighths of an inch and we are at 825 right now. So we've got a ways to go. 
Now while I'm working on these drive couplings, I got Connor over here on the lathe working on the drive shaft. And he's going to turn it down to size, length, chamfer it, and then put keyways in it in the mill. last facing pass, so I slowed down the feed rate. And here I'm just going to use my threading tool to put a little chamfer on there. I don't want much, but enough to knock the burr off and knock this stringy piece off. There. And now we're just going to center drill it. Okay, I had to move my center drill out there. I'm going to go extra deep because we're actually going to do a, a recess in here just for uh, a guide pin basically. And then we're actually going to go drill it on the lion using the um, spade drills. So in order to cut that recess that I need for my guide, I'm going to just touch it off. And I'm just going to come in as deep as I can inside there and hand feed it out. All right, so we're at 1.910, and we're gonna go to about 1.937, um, and we're gonna leave about a 5,000th clearance fit between the two pieces so that we got a little bit of wiggle room to, for error and rust won't lock these together outside. And I'm just gonna feed it in by hand to clean that bit up. That'll be perfect. So again, Connor's still working on this shaft. He's cutting the keyways. You can probably speed that up just a little bit. Yeah, go a little more. Yeah, that's looking good. And he's gonna put a keyway on both ends of this shaft in line with each other. So we'll come back and check on him in a little bit. Okay, so while Connor's making that shaft, I'm gonna get going on the second, the mating piece here. And the reason I'm not showing him on camera, as many of you know, is Connor is 16 years old. I, he works for me through the Wisconsin Youth Apprenticeship Program. So because he's under 18, I don't wanna show him on camera. So now let's get this one turned down to be ready to start uh, making it mate this piece. cut it a little bit for clearance. 
Oh, the two halves should just fit right together. Just like that. Beautiful. I'll go ahead and chamfer these and just deburr that a little bit and we're good to move, or we got to center drill this one. We'll go over to the lion, drill them, and then over to the mill to finish them up. Alright, so I'm chucked up here in the lion lathe and I'm using the lion because I got the flood coolant. Let me get it running here. And we're just going to use a one inch spade drill because these things cut so close to accurate that it's, it's just incredible how well these things cut. I won't need to run a reamer or anything through afterwards. Well, that makes a beautiful bore. Let's see how it fits the shaft. All right, let's see how they fit. Beautiful. Nice fit. Now we'll uh, drill and tap a set screw hole in there, and then we'll go back and uh, broach a keyway. So we're back here at the uh, Dake Arbor Press. We're gonna broach this with the quarter inch broach. Um, now this is a process that Connor has never even seen and it's pretty awesome that he gets to watch this while we film it. And hopefully we don't break a broach with our mystery metal. Okay, we're over here at the Bridgeport. We got the rotary table and the chuck. Got our part set up in here. We are all indicated in. We got our center. We're offset. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go around first and I'm gonna drill six holes. Basically my start and stop for each point and take a look at it and see what I think.
So I think this will work for me. Um, that'll leave plenty of meat between the, the slots for you know strength and that'll leave enough slot for adjustment. We're gonna mill both of them exactly the same so we'll have lots of rotational adjustment. All right, so I got everything set up. I got my end mill in there. Um, I got the cool mist unit that I got from KBC Tools set up. We're gonna use that. Um, we're gonna go in about 50 thou at a time, see how it cuts, we might go deeper. Um, and then we're gonna crank the rotary table around to each spot. So we'll crank to the first one, first hole, plunge in a little deeper, crank back, plunge in, crank back until we're all the way through. All right, now I'm actually gonna take an extra five thousandth on each side just for bolt clearance and to clean up our hole. So I'll cut, first cut this way and then I'll take it in five on the other way and cut that way. Okay, that first one cut pretty good. Um, whatever this mystery metal is, it's pretty tough stuff. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and cut the rest of them. And uh, we won't film that, just gonna cut them and so I can pay good attention. And then uh, we'll finish these two up, put them together and see how they all look.
Well, the first one came out real nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get the second one done and then we'll uh, see how they look together. So when these go together and I put the bolts in there, that'll give me 360 degrees of full adjustability, which will be really nice for setting up that pony carriage for sawing the 20 footer. So stick around, stick with the channel. This will be a Tuesday content video and will be normal machining and that kind of stuff on uh, Saturday mornings. But this will be a Tuesday content video coming up in probably a couple of weeks when we fire up the mill again and we run this sucker through, turning it into two by eights to build the sawmill shed. So stick with the channel, stick with us, and please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.